On August 31, 2007, the Troop Family Reunion was held in Georgia, where their documented legacy began some 172 years ago. They continue the Troop legacy and pay homage to those who made their lives and in the manner in which they live possible today. In the, in the uh, years of, the, of slavery, when my family was enslaved, there is nothing documented. George M. Troop was a Georgia congressman from 1807 to 1815, and in 1816 was elected as United States Senator in 1829. He was again elected as a United States Senator and during his administration as governor, the treaty with the Creek Nation was negotiated by the United States for the secession of the treaty of which Troop County, Georgia's 63rd county, was established by an act of legislation in 1825. Georgia Governor George M. Troop, for whom the county was named, was also a brutal slave owner of four to five plantations across Troop County. On the Val Ambrosia Plantation, located in Dublin, Georgia, there was always a conflict about respect towards the masters, which brought a great dispute to help the slaves become free. Well, the, the dispute was about uh, the overseer wanted, wanted my great uncle Buddy to call him sir, and he didn't respect him. And when, when my great grandfather Charles, you know, he asked him, he said, well, son, how, why won't you call the man sir? He said, well, well, Papa, that's what they called him, I don't respect the man. And my great-grandfather, uh, Charles, he, he, I mean, he had, he didn't respect the man either. So him and his wife, him and my, my great-grandmother, Mary, they talked long into the night uh, about the incident. And, uh, you know, he said, I, I can't help it. I don't, I don't respect the man either. So. But, but during those times, that's when they were lynching a lot of blacks and uh, it just was, there just was a lot of hate going on, uh, a lot of racist people, you know, in, in the world. And uh, they knew that they, that they had to get out of, out of Dublin, Georgia. From what I understand, the slaves, uh, after a hard day's work, uh, they would uh, go down on Turkey Creek. Uh, which is located in Dublin, Georgia, where one of his uh, plantations, uh, Ballambrosia Plantation, they go out down on the creek and maybe do some fishing or singing or, and then I guess recollect on some of the good times or, or the times that, that they might have felt at that time were good and, uh, and hope for uh, freedom. Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation on January 1st, 1863, as the nation approached its third year of bloody Civil War. The proclamation declared that all persons held as slaves within the rebellious states are, and henceforth shall be free. The proclamation announced the acceptance of black men into the Union, Army, and Navy, enabling the liberated to become liberators. By the end of the war, almost 200,000 black soldiers and sailors had fought for the Union and freedom. In the years following the Civil War, former slaves had to choose a surname. Until then, they were simply known by their first name. Many of these former slaves took the name of their former master. In 1870, the Lawrence County Census shows the first black census to enumerate black citizens. In that year, 51 Lawrence County families bore the surname Troop. The name was changed around the turn of the century by some of the families. Most of the families, while not all related to each other by blood, but bound together by their common last name and heritage, lived in the Dudley area near or on the old Troop plantations at Vallambrosia and Thomas Crossroads. Although a significant amount of, uh, of our family's history was lost, uh, I'm certain that I, if our ancestors were here today, they would be very proud of what each of you have accomplished through their struggle. I charge each of you, young and old, to live up to our family's legacy by continuing to fellowship, not just from what we did for the Troop Family Reunion 2007. But our family, this family, has a lot to be proud of. 
Our legacy lives on and the struggle continues.